basically I twisted my knee they took me here in an ambulance and the messed up thing is that I heard a crack so now we're just gonna check it not gonna lie hurts quite a lot Today we're gonna learn how to recover from a sports injury because most athletes, in our case football players, suffer some sort of an injury during their careers and it's very important to know how to deal with those setbacks for you to bounce back and get back on the pitch stronger than before. And to help us out we're gonna hear advice from the one and only Eden Hazard as well as myself because for the past two years I've been dealing with my knee injury that has so far taken me through two surgeries and months and months of rehab. So this is how to recover from an injury. Number one, rest. When you're out injured, the only thing you want to do is get back on the training ground. But keep in mind that whether you're fresh out of surgery or just train your muscle a little bit, resting is the crucial first step in your recovery. And sure, you might be able to push through the pain and continue practicing, but you'll most likely end up making the situation worse for yourself. Day one of recovery, I'm not gonna lie, I'm in quite a lot of pain today. Even the smallest movement hurts like shit. Good advice here is to pay attention to the level of pain. If the pain doesn't seem to go away over time, that's basically your body telling you, dude, it's time to rest. And let's be honest here, for most of us active footballers, resting is one of the hardest things to do. But it's the first step in every successful recovery period, so don't be afraid to take some time off. I have to ask you about your injury. I know you had a little setback with your ankle. So how does a professional footballer actually, you know, recover from an injury? What's the first step? First, you need to learn. Because when you don't have injured, you don't know how to deal with it. Yeah, you just need to learn to be, you know, like patient because it's, long, it's a long injury, three months. And then you just need to focus on the, the recovery. You know, we have a lot of physios, so we can work in a good way with Chelsea. That's, that's quite good. Number two, rehab. Rehab is hands down the most important part of recovery. If you don't rehab your injury properly, chances are you won't get back to your old physical level. Now proper rehab doesn't mean exercising once a week. No, you need to dedicate time for your rehab exercises every single day. Basically how my whole physiotherapy thing works is I go in there twice a week and then the exercises he shows me I need to do the next couple of days. The rehab process usually focuses on two main areas. One, increasing range of motion and two, rebuilding strength to the injured area of your body. And depending on your injury, this very annoying period can take anywhere from just few weeks to a full year. But the sooner you start and the more dedicated you are, the better the end result is gonna be. Now, if you're experiencing an injury that is not healing, do some research on physical therapy facilities around your area. These places will be able to help you with a rehab plan and get you started. <laughs> Slowly first. Heading to the hospital once again. I have a problem with my knee. Only thing I hope is that there's nothing wrong with my knee. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to get another surgery and that would suck. Number three, stay focused and stay positive. I know, we've all heard this phrase a million times. It's such a cliche, but having the right mindset is a major key during your recovery period. Sure, you'll have plenty of days when you're feeling down and it sucks not being able to do simple things such as walking or even kicking a ball. And the worst thing is that you're still 10 more months away from your full recovery. But don't worry, it will get better. Look how much thinner my left thigh already is. Try and surround yourself with supportive people who want to see you succeed. And while you can't be out on the pitch helping the team, use this period of time to also focus on other things in life that make you happy and keep you busy. Really? Really? You're gonna make me do this? Hold my beer. Hold my beer. Being sad, losing focus and feeling less motivated always results in lack of training and rehab. And lack of training and rehab always leads to a prolonged recovery, which is the last thing anybody wants. So stay on the right track even though you're doing the same damn exercises week after week. It'll be worth it. How do you stay motivated throughout the process? Because it is tough when you can't play. Yeah, because you miss football and you just want to be back on the pitch. That's the only thing. I'm just looking forward to be on the pitch, you know, with my teammates, the fans. I just want to be there with them. No matter what, 
it's all good we're making progress and it's amazing to be back on the pitch you know you can you can only imagine okay chasing after rainbows all the time number four minimize future risk while this might seem obvious a lot of people heal do too much too fast stop their rehab and end up getting injured again remember that even though you've done your rehab for the right amount of time don't rush into things especially when you've been out of action for months and i know it's hard for me personally patience has been the biggest challenge during my recovery because you want to do so many things you've always done but have to hold back and knowing your limits is more important than ever when you're slowly starting your normal training again and to prevent any further injuries from happening try and identify how you got injured in the first place did you do something wrong did you not warm up properly and is there something you can do to not let this happen again these are important questions to think about because it's first when you're injured that you truly start appreciating being healthy. Ooh, man like Johnson, still got it. Free kick master. And that wraps up today's video. I honestly hope you never have to experience a serious injury in your career. But even if you're watching this with a broken ankle or have a major surgery coming up in two months time, don't worry. Take responsibility, stay on track, follow these steps and the recovery will be worth it in the long run. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos and share this episode with your friend that needs an extra push on his road to recovery. And with those words, I'm out.